Greetings from Jerusalem. This is Orit Arfa for InfoLive News Update, March 6. Iran has linked the Mossad to the mysterious disappearance of a former senior Iranian defense official in Turkey last February. According to a report by the Daily Telegraph, the Iranian official, a former spy chief, is said to have information on Ran Arad, the Israeli Air Force pilot missing in action since 1986. The British report also suggested that the Iranian official was not kidnapped but rather defected. Israel is perceived as the country with the most negative influence, according to a poll conducted by the BBC that gauged worldwide attitudes towards 12 major nations. 56% of 28,000 respondents from 27 countries gave Israel the poorest ranking, followed by Iran, the United States, and North Korea. Canada, followed by Japan, is the country with the most favorable image. Minister of Infrastructure Benjamin Ben Eliezer postponed his diplomatic visit to Cairo in the wake of allegations by an Israeli documentary that his IDF unit killed 250 Egyptian prisoners of war during the Six Day War. Ben Eliezer has denied the claim, saying that those killed were Palestinian guerrillas, and Israeli officials are meeting to calm the diplomatic storm. The IDF has petitioned the High Court to postpone the publication of a report critical of the Home Front Command's handling of the Second Lebanon War. State Comptroller Michael Lindenstrauss has asked to postpone the High Court hearing after Attorney General Menachem Mazuz has refused to represent him. The United States and North Korea opened historic talks in New York following a 50-year-long diplomatic freeze between the two countries. The renewed relations come three weeks after North Korea agreed to dismantle its nuclear program. The large Israeli food cooperative Tnuva has sold its controlling interest to the Apex Investment Group for approximately $1 billion. This is a major step towards the privatization of the kibbutz-owned company. Hapoel Jerusalem has advanced to its third ULEB Cup semifinals in four years. Hopes are high in Jerusalem that the basketball team will emerge victorious tonight when it faces FMP Zelznik in the second leg of the quarterfinals in Belgrade. Join us today as we speak to the contractor of the controversial Temple Mount Mugrabi Ascent. InfoLive TV brings you the story of the joint Israeli-Jordanian venture, the Seas Canal. And finally, we take a look at Purim celebrations throughout Israel. InfoLive TV wishes you a nice day from Jerusalem. InfoLive.tv, the world's first television channel broadcasting on the web in four languages, live from Jerusalem. If you want a direct look at Israel and the Middle East, InfoLive TV is there, at the heart of the information, at the heart of history, at the heart of Israel. InfoLive.tv